Hey, welcome back, beautiful Libras. Thank you for joining me here, Libra. I hope you're doing fabulous. As always, thank you very much. Welcome to all you new subscribers. I thank you and welcome to everyone else who has been supporting this channel and supporting these readings and supporting me. I thank you. Let's go, Libra. Do not spend too much time in despair. Move through the emotions and release it. To rise, you must let go of fear. Continue to make the most of every open door. Life will be a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride and stop trying to be in control. <laughs> it's okay to not have all the answers. They will come to you when you need them. Realize you have all the qualities of a leader. Despite the frustration, you're on your way to making your dreams come true. Own your own time and give it meaning. Don't let it pass you by. Embrace what you've learned. Cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated. Learn new things. It will help you in the future. And you will break free from all that no longer serves you. You are exactly where you need to be. Libra. Libra, please. Animal totems, animal energy and powers, shamanic healers, cleansing, attunement, family tree, legacy. You may come from a legacy of shamanic healers, animal healers, animals being very significant to you, helping you to heal. This is expansion, love, acceptance, the healed heart. Wisdom of the Magi, mental clarity. Libra. internet trolls jealous of what you have and how you appear what's going on someone fell deep they can't help their feelings for you sucking up to get ahead clout chasers <laughs> okay heartache heartbroken over the loss of you and hoping to come back together Someone may be wanting to believe that their ex had changed, but they were fooling themselves. They're unaware of an STD that they may have obtained. Somebody could have gotten an STD here. Third party. Drastic changes, destruction of the old, a wake-up call. Hmm. Somebody's living high on life, far away, yearning for something or someone. You could move far away or this is distant places and people, separation or breakup. Someone's feeling defeated. Feels like nothing is going right. Loss or a sense of having lost. Overcome by adversities. The feminine. <laughs> Risky choices. A choice between good and evil. Someone will be generous to you. This is a contract, legal matter, or a court case. 
soul contrast. Somebody got cast out here. Small steps. Somebody got charmed by a snake. And this is justice. I'm sorry. Having too much sexual pleasure. STDs are here. Somebody may have contracted an STD. Okay, so it's maybe why they're keeping their distance here. What's going on? They may have gone to somebody, wished that their ex had changed, but it was wishful thinking. Somebody may have walked away. Somebody may have been... Hmm, dealing with... You're a leader, okay? You're innocent here. So this person may have done something, hiding something, thinking, oh, worried, fear. <laughs> oh, multiple choices and options. Sickness. Somebody's healing from an illness. Somebody may have cut somebody off for their higher good. This is sexual activity. This is an emperor who is having sexual options here. Well, overcome by adversity. Might have been dealing with somebody at a distance. So this empress here has been blocked for their higher good. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So someone figured that they were, ha were powerful and figured that they could explore other options. Maybe they believed that somebody, a lover, had changed. Wishful thinking. Somebody is in regret. Too many third parties. Somebody manipulating. This is heavy judgment. There's love here, but this person believed that somebody would change. Believed that somebody would change. They, they're not changing. Somebody may have believed somebody changed because they have a family with them. But this is someone lying. This is sneaky energy. This is injustice. So. Ooh. You're cutting people out for your higher good. Someone was exploring sexually. And now has been oh, defeated, overcome by adversity. This is karma. That's why you've been in isolation. Yeah. Huh. Well, somebody was oh betrayed. Somebody could have planned to have a child to control someone. They could have planned to give someone an STD to control them. <sighs> Shoot. Competing. Too much sexual competition. Competing against an empress. Hmm. Uh-huh. There's a heartbreak here. But this hurt is for your protection. You are exactly where you were meant to be and exactly...
These are divinely fated situations. You will break free from all that no longer serves you. So it's almost as if this person, it's like you're being rescued from having an STD or getting an STD. This person had a lot of sexual options or was having unprotected sex. They may have returned to somebody who they said had changed, but it was wishful thinking. This person is still a cheat. This person was still a cheater. And they may have spread around an STD or contracted an STD. So if you're in separation from somebody, you were actually rescued. Somebody trapped somebody with a child or deliberately planned to get pregnant here. This is a karmic lover they were having sex with, but they were still looking for other options. Somebody is manipulating someone into uh, some sort of, see, greedy, planned. Now there's shame and guilt and regret. Somebody's being taught a lesson. So it's about planting seeds, getting attention, juggling. Somebody was cheating in some sort of commitment. Somebody planned, planned to have a child. Yes, there's a pregnancy cause a breakout. They betrayed a high priestess. They could have been traveling, having sex with someone else. This is an emperor. Justice is being served. Someone's feeling defeated or was jealous. So somebody may have divorced somebody and out of jealousy, they went back to them. Uh, but at the same time, they were dealing with other people. And one of these other people, for some of you, they got someone pregnant. It was a planned pregnancy. Doing something risky. So they went back to a past person here. They went back in the past to someone they were dealing with in the past. Someone believing, oh, they've changed. I'm no longer this way. I've broken up with the high priestess. I'm no longer dealing with the high priestess. So they went back to their past trying to make something work with someone else. That person they cheated on. And they got someone pregnant. S STD. They learned of an STD. Oh my God. So it's like they used to be married to this person or they used to have a family with this person. Yeah. But they were dealing with other parties. This is karmic justice, I'm sorry. So this person is getting the truth and the clarity. So somebody was putting somebody in a competition, became very stressed out because they knew that they had hurt somebody. They knew that they were getting trapped. They stopped talking to the high priestess because they got trapped in another situation. 
Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Truth and clarity. Someone being very uh, greedy and selfish. Oh, geez. Yeah, you got problems now. Too many options, I'm telling you. Sexual options. Fuck buddies. Friends with benefits. They denied it, and they pushed you away. Thank God they pushed you away. That was rejection is protection here. So it's like... Dealing with someone far away. So you could have been angry at this person. But things were hidden. Rejection. You could have walked away just in the nick of time. Maybe this person got stuck working. You got fed up with them. You got angry with them. They were acting distant. But they were dealing with someone else at a distance. So they were going back and forth. They were going in between. You could have rejected this person. You could have been like fed up with this person, had enough of this person, you could have been on a time out or a breakup with this person because they were dragging their feet. They were acting distant. You became suspicious of this person. They were dealing with somebody from their past. But they were dealing with more than a past person. They were dealing with somebody else far away. They got that person who is far away pregnant that's why they were not giving they were breadcrumbing you thank god or they would have given you this std i'm telling you that's why they slowed down they had an std they were trying to heal from an STD. <laughs> they have gotten and contracted an STD. Not wearing protection. Not only that. Jeez. Oh, Had this tower not occurred, you would have contracted an STD. Had you been at the right place at the right time, that's why Spirit's saying you're exactly where you need to be. You would have contracted an STD from this person. They were acting distant. Spirit probably told you to stop talking. Maybe you were angry at this person. They weren't spending much time with you. That's why they had an STD. And not only that, they were dealing with someone they used to be married to or in a, um, a connection with. And not only that, they were dealing with someone else, foreign. They got the person at a distance, for the foreign, far away, pregnant. And they got an STD from someone they went to from their past. And the person who they were dealing with at a distance deliberately got pregnant. Intentionally. Planned it. <laughs> oh, they got pregnant. That's full term. Hmm. 
I'll say it's divinely fated. This person no longer serves you. If there is no pregnancy here, it is for some, not all. If there was no pregnancy in your situation, just eliminate that. It's almost as if So they went back to an ex thinking like, oh, that person may have thought they've changed or something like that. They're not the same person anymore. They've changed or something like that. They got an STD from that person and or <laughs> it ain't you. There's two others. We'll say learning a lesson. Yeah. No protection, see? They feel trapped. That's why they kept they you waiting. They had an STD, a sexual disease, I'm telling you, that they had to heal from. They were doing things risky. They were entertaining the devil, and they took action. Being greedy. And then they get angry because they get an STD. They're thinking, oh, somebody was wishing death upon me. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a fatal disease. Shows them healing. But they were worried. They were scared. Because they've been overindulgent. Getting too much attention. Too many third parties. You're over here. You weren't even involved. <laughs> oh my god, what a gong show. Oh my god. So one of these lovers rejected them because they got an STD. <laughs> they went to another one and they got that one pregnant. They were juggling their ex and they were juggling a new lover. You're over here not talking to this person. Oh, come on. Manipulated them into a family and a child. Your intuition, you were just staying silent. You'd already had some major revelation about this person. And that's why they're embarrassed, ashamed. That's why they were being quiet to you. They were dealing with someone else. They were betraying you. They were playing. But somebody was playing them. They were lying. They were cheating on that other someone. I'm telling you. There is an STD. I'm sorry. Too much screwing around. Had you? Somebody might have been praying that they gave you an STD. But too many options here. You were being protected. That's why spirit put up this blockage. You're exactly where you need to be. Cutting people, places, and things out of your life. You had walked away from this person. Sick of their gaslighting you. This emperor. 
they were dealing with someone foreign. That's the truth. That's where they were going. They were dealing with someone from their past and they were dealing with someone foreign. That's the truth. So don't let life piss pass you by saying don't be losing no sleep over this person. You're exactly where you need to be. It is for your protection. Because this person is reckless. They got some sickness here. It is a sexual sickness. So you are definitely being protected. You are exactly where you need to be treasure your experiences because they are divinely fated. It is for you to get justice. It is for you. Could have been a lot worse. Can you imagine now? This person might, for some of them, they've had children or a secret double life going on here. They've had a family somewhere foreign. They were dealing with an ex and they were trying to deal with you. But there is an STD here. And spirits like, you don't need this, Libra. Hopefully none of you contracted an STD from an idiot who doesn't know how to protect themselves or doesn't want to because of their ego. Now they're heartbroken over the loss of you and hoping to come back together with you. Oh, my God. Jeez. This person's all over the place. I don't like their energy. They're all over the place. They may have a whole other family. I don't think it matters to this person. Hey, yes, it's because somebody was vindictive. They set this person up, but they took the bait. So, I mean, what can you do? They set this person up, but they took the bait. In the meantime, all Spirit was trying to do is protect you. This did not serve your higher good. It's been a roller coaster. Don't try to control it because if you did, you may have ended up with something you did not want to have. Take care, Libra.